Hi, hi, hi. And I thought I would just uh, share with you this video cassette that I picked up off eBay. And uh, as you can see, it's a bit of an unusual case. And uh, NTSC. So when I opened it, this is what I got. A blank tape. E150 HG, whatever brand that is. No markings on the back. I'll just play a bit for you. My squeaky machine. that in case I get copyright strike as yeah this is the end of the film where he's a uh, he's cured <laughs> I just love the expression on his face it makes me laugh Yeah, um, got this tape in a bundle. I'll show you the, the bundle uh, in a separate video. I just wanted to show this. I've got a few um, bootleg pirated DVDs, and uh, this is only the second VHS I think that I've uh, ever owned. And I did have this um, Clockwork Orange on video when it was first released I think it was in the 90s on a, in a cardboard case and silly I give it away to a charity shop now yeah, when I was having a bit of a clear out and uh, as you can see on this one is the movie channel all movies 24 hours a day the heart of Hollywood beats on with a biblical epic filmed entirely on location in Israel Jesus is a 1962 account of the life of Christ starring Brian Deacon next on the movie channel it's a world of sex drugs and rock and roll a world of danger and death So there you go, that's, that's all that was on the, the tape. And there's the uh, cover, I think it's just a photocopied cover. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's on just normal. It's semi-glossy paper. But yeah, it's just a home, homemade job, which is cool. I'm glad to have it, it's got that rewind and show a bit more the, the quality the quality it's got that video element but then it's got the element from satellite TV so it's not the best quality and it is it's watchable and uh, the sound warbles a bit at the start I just really wanted to start and give you a little taste of that. Okay, just waiting for this to rewind to the start. This is one of my favourite films. It's the first time I've seen it. I'm not sure where I saw it, whether it was on uh, Channel 4 or like the first screening of it. Or maybe it was on home video. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I've seen it a few times over the years on, on TV. But um, yeah, a lot of people love it it's like marmite some people love it some people hate it um maybe the language puts people off um 
where it's kind of like a mix of English um, slang and Russian slang and you know you can work it out and the message of the film is more important than the style which is another thing I love about it um, the colours the the architecture that where they set it it's you know people have done let's turn it up I love that little warble that's it that's a good thing I might start recording stuff on their video because you get those little imperfections say it's not everybody's cup of tea it is very dated but um i love it for so many different reasons the, i say like where they've where they've shot it the soundtrack by wendy carlos um the um dec the decor in the the flat in the everything the over the top this of it the outfits very iconic that shot's very iconic with the shadows the ludovico technique and the whole conditioning side of it still very relevant today it's still very important film uh, it's one, of, it's, like, it's one of those films, you either, you either get it or you don't get it. If you don't get it, maybe you'll get it in time, maybe you won't. Um, it's... It's one of those films you've got to have an open mind and maybe... Maybe watch it a few times. You don't get it first time around. Important film. It was it was uh, banned by Stanley Kubrick because of copycat acts of violence. But I think it was more to it than that. I think. Uh, well, who knows why it was banned? But thanks for watching. Take it easy. Bye bye.